Hey guys, good morning. Today is Wednesday, April the 29th, and Veda today, I, oh man, the wind's really blowy outside. <laughs> today I just finished, literally just finished filming my May Stash Buster 2020 video. I'm co-hosting it this month, this coming month, with Crystal over at Chronically Crocheting. That's it. I don't know why I want to say with Crystal, but it doesn't say with Crystal. It's just Chronically Crocheting, and her name is Crystal, <laughs> but... Anyways, woo, just the clouds are just like covered in sun. But my theme this, this month is um, stash busting, not just your stash, but also your pattern stash. So I have my props here, I gotta put them back up. But uh, that'll be fun. I finished my chicken and nest, but I don't wanna show it to you guys yet. I'm saving it for the No Kitchen Name episode, which I will be filming tomorrow, the 30th, hopefully. So I gotta find some more patterns to make. I don't know. I got all these books that was gifted to me. This one I actually won in a giveaway uh, last year, earlier this year. I can't remember. But it's got some really cute things. There's one here I really want to make. It's called a bag lady. Find it. Oh, good grief. The other day I'd have it marked. There, there she goes. And it's a plastic shopping bag holder. And it just looks like a little bag lady. I thought that was so cute. And it's really only three shades of yarn because you use a bag color and a skin color, which I think is the same in this, but I would use different ones. And then a, like a variegated for her hat and dress. And you would need, what, four buttons, a red one and two or three different color buttons, and say chaos. I think that's cute. I have this bag holder that I've had forever. <laughs> And um, I do like that one. It's, it's nice and wide. Most bag holders I've made before were really narrow, and it's nice and wide. So um, I like that. But I might make that just because it's cute. <laughs> I don't know. But um, I'm gonna. I got a lot of physical magazines and books with patterns in it. And then on my laptop, I have probably thousands of patterns downloaded from Ravelry and people's websites that I bought them from, Etsy, you know, all these different places where I've just gathered. <laughs> and then on the laptop I also have probably 20 plus digital magazines that I've downloaded. <laughs> so I've got all kinds of patterns. I got them out the woo -hoo. Um, so I'm, I've got plenty of patterns, but I still download more every day. But um, it's not my fault, it's the designer's fault for designing cute things. So it's not my fault. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to try to keep updated today with some yarny goodness. I do want to start my other um, market bag. I still haven't found a pattern yet, though. So I need to, I know I've got some downloaded, so I need to just look on my computer first. And I might just remake this one, but in my rainbow yarn. I don't know. I'm still hoping that the world opens up <laughs> before farmer's market season. Uh, our, our area is opening up a little bit, but not 100%, and it's, you know, I'm still not going to be going out and doing anything because I don't think that opening up now is a good idea. I feel like it's going to make it um, spread back out real bad. But anyways, you know, I can't I can't control that. <laughs> I can control what I do, but I can't control what other people do. So, yeah. Oh, I was cleaning and I found some stuff. I found a bunch of the stuff that I've been gifted over the last few years. And one of them was this llama that I got um, last Christmas season. And I want to hang it up somewhere. I just haven't gotten around to do that. I found an old tape measure that I made, I think in 2017. It's a tape measure and it's just got a turtle body. <laughs> and I also found something my sister made me that I want to hang up somewhere. And it's a cross stitch. You can see, look, you can see me. Hi, little Ella <laughs> on my tripod. <laughs> um, she cross stitched this for me. So she made granny squares and she put my name on there and a crochet hook and yarn squiggling all around. She asked me what color yarn I wanted, and I said the spring green. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but I've mentioned it all the time. Spring green is my favorite color yarn ever. So she made it look like spring green, which I think is cool. But she's made this for me forever ago, and I need to hang it up. It's got the thing on it to hang up. I just need to find a good spot for it. I kind of wanted it where you could see it, but because the window, it would glare anyways. So I guess I could, should just put it where I can see it. I don't know. I'll figure that out eventually. And I also found an old mouse pad that I made <laughs> of me and Devin. This was 2014 maybe? Yeah, this is 2014. So this was about a, maybe a year after we started dating. But you know, at least a year or less. But um, I'm planning on getting a new computer soon. That's why I dug that out. I knew I had this, so I, I was looking for it. <laughs> and um, I wanna get a new desktop computer. 
um, so that it would make e editing easier for me, you know, to sit at here at my table and edit instead of at my on my couch trying to do it with a laptop. That's the plan, at least. They're kind of expensive. I've been pricing them, and I don't know. It might be a while before I can get one of those, but that's the, one of the goals, so I got it out. I also found a jewelry box. With, it has a little foam in there. I thought this would be cute to gift someone stitch markers in. So I got rid of the earrings that was in it because I don't have pierced ears anymore. And um, I'm going to put that in my big pink tackle box that I used for all my crocheting stuff. I also found a little Peter Pan that my sister made me. I'm going to hang him somewhere. And I found a really old hard drive. I have no idea what's on it. So it's going to be fun to see what's on there. <laughs> and I also found a Christmas pudding that my sister made me. I want to glue a magnet on the back of it and put it on my refrigerator. I love Christmas pudding. The image. I have no idea what it tastes like. I've actually been told that it doesn't taste good by a bunch of people over where they eat that at. And then this is a really old hard drive and a memory card. <laughs> I found a bunch of neat stuff when I was cleaning. And then the last thing I found, I got this I think around the holidays and it I had I got it as a gift and then I misplaced it but I found it so it's a tissue holder so I'm gonna put that in my uh, my purse that I rarely carry but I do every now and then and when I do I might need tissues <laughs> but yeah so that's all the goodies that I found while I was cleaning and um, I, I, I gathered up all the mail that I've gotten from you guys over the last three years and it's a lot <laughs> and I put it all in its own tote because I had it kind of here and there. Because, you know, I've been accumulating it over three years. So, it was in three years worth of places. So, I did, I think, pretty sure I got all of it together. Except what's still hanging up. And I'll be taking some of these down soon. Because um, these are all Valentine's Days and stuff. And um, maybe I'll get some birthday cards next week. I hope. <laughs> I love getting mail. But, anyways. Um, put it all in a tote. So that I can, you know, just go through it whenever I want to. I'm trying to figure out a way to preserve it all. I thought about maybe doing some kind of book thing, like a scrapbook, because you could get probably six cards, if they're regular size cards, on one page. And I could like glue down the back of the, the card, but leave the front flappy, you know, so I could still open it and read it. That seems like a lot of work, though. <laughs> so I guess they're just going to live in the tote for now. But all the letters you guys have sent me, all the little, you know, homemade cards, big cards, anything I've gotten the whole time I've done YouTube it has been saved. <laughs> it's all in there and actually for the longest time I saved the envelopes but I had to quit doing that because I had so much of it I uh, so that's why I think last year I started writing down on each card who they're from and if they have a channel and uh, the year <laughs> that they sent it to me that way I could get rid of the envelopes and I have to keep the envelopes too but yeah so just so you guys know everything that you send me I keep <laughs> so because uh, it's special you know I can't just get rid of all these kind words and cards and stuff that would be crazy but yeah anyways i babbled <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here i gotta try to find a new pattern to start project bag not a project bag market bag because i got that cotton already pulled out i might as well use it and then i got all that cotton that was gifted to me which i was talking to the person who gifted it to me and i told them that i'm gonna count that as an early birthday gift <laughs> so that's my birthday yarn is what i'm gonna call it i gotta find some patterns to start making with that probably some more market bags because i love market bags and um, I might make some more dishcloths for myself because me and Dad and Buff love them making them. And um, I've gotten really good at, you know, using it and then washing it instead of using it and setting it in the sink and using it again because that's germy. So I need a lot of dish rags so that I can, you know, when I wash some dishes, I can put that in the dirty hamper, pull out another rag. I've got a bunch because I was gifted a bunch and then I've made some just randomly. So, uh, but yeah, I babbled again. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and find a market bag pattern to start on today. Yeah. Hey guys, I wanted to check back in. I started crocheting. My hair looks crazy. I just got out of the shower and I didn't wash my hair. I have it up. But anyways, um, it's evening now. I just got out of the shower like I just said. I wanted to check back in because um, I didn't end up crocheting much today. What I did do is I did pull out some of my cotton I was gifted and I started to make a pattern with it and I didn't like it so I frogged it and now I'm going to try to design my own pattern <laughs> uh, in the next few days maybe. But then uh, I just took a shower after cleaning the kitchen and Jesse's bedroom and picking up the living room and all that normal mom stuff. And now I'm going to go sit down. He's playing a game in the living room and I'm going to crochet on my tree skirt a little bit and watch some YouTube videos. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day of April. <laughs> it's mad. So I will put out one more Veda tomorrow. 
and then on May 1st, which is Friday, Jesse's birthday, but um, a video will come out for the May 2020 Stash Buster because I'm I'm hosting it this this month for Crystal at Chronically Crocheting, <laughs> so that video will come out. Actually, I kind of wanted to film my No Catch Your Name episode tomorrow. I don't know if I have the time to. I got a lot of stuff I got to do tomorrow. I got a lot of errands to run. We'll see. I'll try to make a No Catch Your Name episode. If I do, it'll be short anyways because I haven't worked on a lot of stuff. But still, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.